Very good morning to all my dear friends. I hope you all are doing good. This is Prashant Mawani and a warmly welcome all of you to Study IQ. Fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. Dear friends, if you are afraid to take any step or to carry on what you have to do, uh, then trust me, then uh, that will lead to failure. And uh, one of the things that I have observed is that, uh, see, on an average, nearly f six to 7,000 students uh, watch this Hindu analysis in English on regular basis but then as well I see that only a couple of you or you can say nearly 15 20 people do take part in the question series I feel or I believe or whatever my experience is in this field so far indicates that most of the students they would be knowing the answer but the fear of uh, writing or making a sort of mistake right fear of failure this is the thing uh, that is stopping them to write it and I must say that if you don't practice right there then you are never going to benefit out of it so think about it whether I am what I'm saying is right or wrong uh, do ponder over this thing and with this dear friends I would like to introduce all of you to our pen drive and tablet courses for different exams uh, study IQ provides you with different pen drive and tablet courses they are designed by the best faculties of our country the quality that you get in this one is going to be of top of the range so if you haven't got it yet I would recommend all of you to check out studyiq.com look for the pen drive and tablet courses for the exams uh, uh, that you are preparing for and order it if you have any question queries you can use chat support as well as telephone numbers that you can see on your screen the first article that we have is pertaining to we are not going to start today with editorials because uh, we have two editorials today in the Hindu the first one is the second one is pertaining to football so we can uh, ignore uh, that article because it is all about football and uh, you don't find this sort of questions like which country performed this and that regarding in your exam so we can ignore that the other one is there of course uh, I have clubbed it with uh, another article but anyways uh, let's start with this one this is a quite interesting article here it is about USA the strategy that uh, has been in air uh, in many news items we see that the whole strategy this word is been used that the strategy or long-term strategy of USA uh, when it comes to Asia now the thing is, uh, if we go back to the history, or uh, if, we, if we if we see so far, USA has played a role of world police. If there is any sort of problem in any part of the world, then of course USA will take a stand and it will think about it, and if necessary, it will intervene. Things like that. We have seen that uh, since World War II, USA has uh, taken some uh, taken a part in in the ro in in Asia as well. We know after it is Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings. Uh, it basically uh, trained uh, Japan and uh, later on after this uh, Korean War it, it started uh, uh, training South Korea and uh, since then because of Cold War and things like that it used to it used to expand and it used to uh, try its level best to have some sort of deep root in different parts of the world and different countries now the thing is uh, the Trump administration has made it clear uh, if you go through the speech of uh, Mr. Trump and uh, this article also talks about that thing that Mr. Trump is not happy about this world police role of USA. He has said that uh, for the longest period of time right uh, countries uh, around the world they are taking full advantage of USA and uh, there are many global institutions as well we know that uh, USA has been funding uh, say for example United Nation right uh, and uh, then you have NATO as well of course uh, NATO is not a global organization it does not include all the countries in the world but you have many countries under this uh, NATO flag and uh, the thing is the uh, USA has always uh, funded right this NATO and uh, when it comes to United Nation as well the lion's share is being provided by USA so USA is saying that if this uh, sort of institutions are for the benefit of the whole world then why should USA be the only country funding this institution so this thing is going to change right and he has said that uh, he's not blaming other countries he's blaming the leaders of of USA who used to be his uh, predecessor right so he's talking about the previous leaders of USA the other thing is that uh, he is not also happy about the trade deficit that is going on you know, between different countries if you remember when uh, Prime Minister uh, was there in uh, USA at that point of time as well this thing uh, was highlighted by uh, USA they said that uh, there is a trade deficit 
and uh, the, this trade deficit is not in favor of USA. That means uh, India is uh, exporting more items uh, to USA uh, than USA exporting it to India. But the thing is, uh, you see, I must add here that a trade deficit, uh, when you have, say, for example, when we talk about India and USA, then we know that uh, $4 billion, uh, it is something around in favor of uh, India. Now the thing is, if we see the capital investment, right, then uh, we know that USA has, uh, or the companies of USA, they invest a huge amount of money in India. So in that term, if you see the holistic, if you see the overall picture, then USA would be earning more. But when it comes to import and export, it looks like India is in, uh, in, in, or you can say India is having a sort of upper hand, but that is not right. We have to also take the capital investment. But anyways, he has, what he has said here, he has said that uh, this uh, trade deficit with these countries, China, Japan, South Korea and Vietnam, this is not going to uh, be tolerated and uh, things have to change. He has also offered uh, technology regarding security. He said that uh, the countries can buy, these countries of Asia, they can buy weapons from USA directly and uh, he also uh, said about or highlighted an example of uh, Saudi Arabia he said Saudi Arabia has been using our weapons we are best in this thing so you can directly buy it and this will help you in your own security you have to look after your own security and things like that and uh, again when we see the relationship between China and Japan and uh, China and USA then we know that uh, China is biggest trading partner of all these countries you can see here south korea vietnam japan even though these countries are having problem with uh, china and china is ready to offer money china is ready to offer market access it is ready to uh, build infrastructure in these uh, countries that uh, this asean countries who are lagging a bit behind in infrastructure so this could be a vacuum that uh, could be created by usa then we, uh, we also heard about this thing called Quad. And there is a very interesting article in The Hindu Today and it is uh, titled After the Tsunami. As I told you that I have clubbed this thing together, it will give you a bigger picture and a better understanding. So luckily we have got two articles that can be clubbed here and uh, this one is after tsunami. Now uh, basically after this uh, tsunami of 2004, we know that uh, this was uh, in fact one of the biggest tsunami we have ever had in Indian Ocean and we know many people passed away in this thing uh, very sadly uh, so at that point of time uh, India right uh, um, as soon as we got the news of uh, this uh, tsunami uh, the government of India or you can say India started uh, taking or started responding right India deployed nearly 32 Indian ships and 5500 troops uh, were involved in international relief efforts and uh, we have done our level best and uh, this was uh, in fact a chance for India as well or you can say uh, this was a time when India uh, proved it or India tried to demonstrate this thing that Indian Ocean was in fact India's domain and uh, it also projected that uh, India is committed in uh, protecting this uh, Indian Ocean and uh, India also reiterated that India does care about it after this tsunami as well uh, we know india has placed this early tsunami uh, warning system and things like that and uh, we can see with this indian ocean rim association and all the meetings that are taking place uh, india is talking about technology and disaster management and things like that so that's what have been uh, so far it's a big picture and uh, now Coming back to this thing, if you see Siam Saran, he, he was a foreign secretary and many times you see him in many discussions and uh, articles are also written by him. Uh, not uh, that much in the Hindu, but if you go through other newspapers, then you find his articles. Anyways, uh, so at that point of time, he was foreign secretary and in his word, he said that India's full capabilities came as a surprise to the world the way india was doing this rescue mission and things like that it was a bit surprising for the whole world but at that point of time uh, president george w bush now we are heading towards this quad thing right so at that point of time uh, this uh, president george w bush he announced that this uh, four countries right the usa japan australia and india now we are coming here to this quad thing so he said that uh, all these four countries can uh, team up uh, 
uh, once we uh, we can become a team and uh, we can form a team and then we can do this uh, rescue work and uh, we can restore things uh, that have been destroyed by this tsunami and uh, rehabilitation and relief and all these things right connectivity and infrastructure everything can be done by this four countries together so this was uh, for the first time we heard about or you can say that this was uh, a sort of birth of a new framework that we know today as quadrilateral or quad and uh, at that point of time it was the japanese prime minister shinzo abe now remember shinzo abe has been he is, he is coming from a family that has ruled Japan for a very long period of time and at present as well if you see then uh, Shinzo Abe has been um, in control of Japan or you can say he has uh, hold uh, over this position for a very long period of time but uh, at that point of time it was uh, Japan that said that uh, together four of us uh, can work uh, we can form a team and uh, he also talked about a sort of arc right he said that uh, this arc of uh, development so this uh, you have india here right then you have australia then you take japan and then you have usa so he was talking about a sort of arc in which all these four countries and with the coming of these countries together other countries or the whole range of asia will get some benefits and uh, remember the relationship here again when we talk about uh, this uh, 2004 at that point of time as well if you see then china was growing up uh, uh, we know that china has been uh, in a sort of production race or you can say development mode since uh, around somewhere around uh, 70s right and uh, china and japan if you go back to the history as well then you find they are not having that uh, sort of you know good relationship uh, with each other there is a sense of uh, some sort of um, you know bitterness behind of course uh, the relationship uh, the trade relationships are good no doubt uh, but uh, it's not that cordial uh, so anyways so this was the thing and to ensure that uh, the things are under control of japan australia and usa and the inclusion of india so this was the whole idea behind this quad thing now at that point of time usa right uh, united states of america at that point of time thought that uh, see we are buying many things from you uh, china and uh, we have been supplying many things to china and things like that so if we go ahead with this quad thing then uh, it will make china a bit unhappy uh, with usa and uh, this is not something that usa should do so at that point of time this whole quad thing was you can say it was a uh, yeah, it was forget about you can say it was deleted right rejected uh, say let's forget about it and let's stick with the bilateral things and uh, at that point of time the uh, usa was also uh, looking forward for uh, a sort of consensus when it comes to this iran sanction we know that the threat of iran was there at that point of time the nuclear thing and uh, north korea has always been uh, a sort of trouble for uh, for usa so in, uh, China was of course on board of this six nation talks with uh, North Korea and uh, to make sure that everything is as per the plan of USA it decided to drop this idea of quad and at present as well uh, there are high chances that something similar could happen so you can understand when we club this thing two things together the strategy of USA it is talking about making India a sort of major partner and things like that. They are talking about this quad thing, but at the same time, they are saying that they are not going to pay anything for this and that. So you have to wait and watch. We have to create firewalls where we require and uh, we have to uh, keep our eyes and ears open because we never know when uh, at a late night you may find some sort of tweets uh, from uh, Mr. Trump and uh, the next morning things would be altogether different uh, moving on to this one this is a very interesting article the name is money can't always buy votes now it may look a bit strange uh, when you read these statements because generally speaking there is a belief that uh, it is the money that can buy votes in our country but if you go through this article then you will uh, come out with some sort of enlightenment uh, that that is not the case uh, as we know that uh, uh, true it is also true that we find huge amount of cash and liquor and saris and other goodies or freebies uh, this sort of things are distributed 
uh, during election time in particularly speaking and uh, we also see that uh, election commission uh, is seizing many trucks of liquor and cash and things like that isn't it and uh, we, we can see a sense of you see people are eating free food and things like that in different but it all depends in which part of uh, our country you are living some places you are been given with saris and some places you are given food and drink and all this sort of things right in many places you get uh, this household items and things like that as well anyways uh, what uh, this indicates right uh, it indicates that uh, first of all if you want to make sure that you win election and this is a part of uh, this is these things are not written in any books right uh, earlier on uh, i have told you that you have two means you read constitution right uh, no doubt uh, you read this constitution but the thing is constitution is a uh, book no doubt of course it is considered as a living document because we can make necessary changes when uh, required but the thing is uh, constitution is a written thing and what happens uh, in reality is what we call polity right uh, that's what polity is all about so here again uh, you can see the things uh, the rules and things are written in a book but in reality we see that it is the person or or a or a candidate uh, with uh, uh, with huge amount of resources or greater resources uh, as a sort of uh, high chance of winning an election and this has been consistently proven if we see the data then we find that uh, all the candidates either they should either they should have um, when we talk about resources it's not all about money you should have either muscle power or you should be coming from a family that is uh, having a sort of good social connection even if you are not having that much money but if you have uh, other things like muscle power or a very strong social connection or influence for whatever reason in that particular constituency then there are high chances that you are going to win the election but at the same time it has also been proven that if you use too much amount of money right or if you are throwing away all these uh, freebies and things like that that does not mean that you are going to win election in fact many a times uh, that has taken place as per the research or the things that are highlighted here in this article uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, observed that uh, uh, the candidates who have spent huge amount of money many times they don't even make it and uh, one of the reason why they have to spend uh, this huge amount of money is because uh, see election commission right uh, gives only 14 days of official for campaigning and uh, before uh, election as well before the polling uh, this campaigning is barred uh, uh, for uh, from polling before polling at 48 hours before that you have to stop this uh, campaigning thing the other thing is that you have huge amount of constituency or the, the size of the constituency is quite large in our country the other thing is uh, that uh, people do believe or there is a, so -so a sort of a sense in people that uh, if you are if you are having some sort of money or if you, if you don't have money then people consider even if you if you are not having money then how you are going to ensure prosperity of, uh, of of the la of the people of your constituency so you need to have some sort of symbol in society if you want to win and uh, money is a thing right people will ask you there are people who do ask political parties that what you are going to give us right uh, if uh, make us happy right uh, you can say that uh, um, satisfy us or you can say uh, more than satisfy delight us uh, before election and then we will uh, give our vote to your party but uh, freebies have been given by all the parties you know it very well uh, it's just like uh, other telecommunication companies right if they reduce the rate the other parties will other company will reduce the rate in the same way if a political party is giving you say for example mixture the other party will provide you with oranges so in this way this people will collect uh, things from uh, all different parties and at the end of the day it will it depends right at, at the at the person or the candidate they see uh, having a sort of influence or the person who can display money a person who can display some sort of uh, muscle power that is the person who is going to win the only solution is that uh, regarding this thing is uh, uh, we have to give some more time election commission should give some more time uh, for the parties uh, to do their campaigning and uh, the size of constituency can be reduced so that uh, this sort of influence or too much money uh, will hopefully 
be stopped uh, that's everything regarding this article it's very interesting one right uh, moving on to another one this is uh, again as i told you this can be clubbed with the last resort uh, this is coming from kerala and uh, we know thomas chandy uh, he is facing uh, this uh, encroachment uh, controversy land encroachment controversy for the longest period of time and uh, the thing is uh, uh, this is uh, this is a sort of display of what uh, we were talking about here right uh, why you need to make money and things like that it is having a sort of indirect connection here that if you want to ensure that you do win or do continue um, um, yourself or you see yourself uh, in a powerful position then you have to ensure that you should have some sort of uh, strong uh, some you should be able to display that you are strong enough it could be either uh, with money or it could be with muscle power as we have just uh, uh, talked about so the thing is here as well you can see in this uh, article or this this is in fact an editorial and uh, it talks about that uh, despite this uh, controversy going on and uh, this uh, the the chief minister is having a sort of clear majority in the legislative assembly then as well he is not risking or he does not want to upset uh, the coalition partners because uh, uh, he thinks that this is going to create a problem for him and again i must say here to you remind you that uh, see this are uh, in this sort of things indicate uh, the difference between constitution and uh, what is going on in reality in fact the chief minister is a person uh, who should uh, look after the whole state he is been uh, positioned there to to ensure that everything is going right but then as well you can see because of uh, different political calculation uh, they are not able to take this sort of steps and this indicates uh, somewhere and somewhere it is us the people who are um, who are in at the end of the day seeking this sort of administration uh, anyways uh, that's everything uh, regarding it uh, and uh, this one is about uh, strangely forgotten now this one is written by c uday baskar i am not sure how many of you know c uday baskar uh, again uh, i have been following him for a very long period of time and uh, he is a retired commodore so he has uh, the things uh, generally speaking his articles are very enlightening and uh, they always provide you uh, some sort of out of the box vision you might uh, see him or you might have seen him many a times in uh, national uh, tv channels as well particularly this durdarshan and rajya sabha and lok sabha you see him many times and uh, uh, I think it was in uh, Indian Express he used to write articles anyways uh, this article is about the reason why first of all I give you this sort of brief introduction of uh, this writers is because uh, if you know who the person is right uh, then if you know the background of the person then you would realize that the things that are coming or been written by that person is important that is one of the main reason anyways uh, coming back to this article here October November 1962 October November you can imagine it is going to be winter in our country isn't it and uh, this uh, is a period that we are talking about this 1962 when we had a war with China and recently we saw this uh, face off of Doklam as well now uh, the thing is or the sad thing is uh, this 1962 war you don't find uh, that many books right uh, if you compare uh, this incident with uh, india's uh, freedom struggle of uh, 1857 right or you can say the first uh, uh, war uh, for freedom of 1857 then you find huge amount of material on this thing and there are so many books uh, written on this thing it could be because uh, uh, there are more people who are seeking this thing or many times it happens that uh, if a particular topic is a bit of uh, a hit then you find many different uh, writers writing different things about it it is a, a sort of like uh, going with the flow you can say and this happens with uh, other items as well if you observe right with the cars if you observe with uh, with the films right uh, with the other things as well then you find that whenever a leader a market leader will come out with something uh, then the followers will keep on um, uh, making something similar right uh, considering that that is the requirement or the demand in the market but uh, then you find people like see uday Pascar who who know who have of course worked practically 
uh, well, they have practical experience with this sort of things. Uh, but uh, when I said this sort of, I mean to say this war and uh, things like that. And these are the people who come out with, uh, or they highlight what is required, or the gaps that we have left. And the gap, uh, what we are talking about here, is uh, a solid material on 1962, right? Uh, once we have uh, some good books, uh, well-researched books by uh, professional Indian historians, when, I, when we use the word professional and when we are talking about history, I must say to you guys here that uh, history is a, a subject uh, that depends, uh, highly depends, the quality of... Uh, uh, that particular topic that is being discussed, it depends on uh, the professionalism of uh, the writer, right, or the historian. Because uh, if the historian is, uh, say, for example, supporting party A, and uh, if the history is about party B, then you may find that uh, you will find more negative things. Uh, so it is uh, very important that uh, the history of this uh, this era is written by some professional Indian historian. And the more we get, uh, the more books and the more research we have, the good things or good documents we have on this thing, then this can be distilled and been provided to school children. And because if we see the younger generation, then we hardly know about this thing. We know that there has been a war here and things like that. And many times uh, it is being projected by as a sort of weakness at that point of time. We saw recently uh, during this Doklam issue as well that India said that we are not uh, India. Uh, that we used to be in 1962. Now the thing is what we were at that point of time, what happened here actually. Now the Wikipedia and things like that are not reliable source. Yes, I am repeating again that Wikipedia and all those uh, things that are available, they are not reliable source. I have done professional research and I know it that uh, Wikipedia is a thing that can be edited by anyone. So say for example, if you <laughs> log on and if you make necessary change you can write anything you like and what will happen eventually is that uh, imagine for that period of time when you have provided wrong information if you are going through it you will take some notes and that will become part of your understanding but in reality is a different thing so there is no sort of peer uh, review and you know there is no one who is going to check this thing and uh, whether you are saying is factually right or wrong anyways uh, so we need some good material and uh, once we have this then we can teach this thing in the school and uh, there are many good things as well there are many positive stories uh, that are still not out we haven't seen that many movies on this thing or there are not that many books available and uh, here is an example of heroism or at uh, Rezangla what happened here is that uh, this uh, the soldiers were having a sort of uh, you can say outdated or you can say a point three or three this is a very classic gun and it cannot uh, be used in this sort of warfare you have you can have one single shot and things like that so anyways uh, they were uh, they were not that well equipped but then as well they faced this uh, chinese army who was uh, very well equipped compared to indian army uh, and it was the body was been after a year it was been discovered by a local shepherd and then we came to know about this major Saitan singh and his team members so there are many things uh, that we need and uh, yes uh, this will add more patriotism and respect for the soldiers who have laid their lives in protecting us this article is about uh, Tripura model it uh, is providing you some specific figures about Tripura but the gist of this article and uh, the reason why I'm not going into details of this thing is because we have talked about this thing quite a uh, we have talked about it lots and lots of time so basically we know that uh, security is a very important thing without security any of your uh, development plan will not work and uh, that's what used to happen earlier on because of this militancy and things like that security was not there and because of this uh, Tripura was not uh, in a path of development but once uh, the security scenario was uh, developed and uh, every everyone was on the same page but then this economic and social investment in people with in in terms of school education skill this thing started taking place and today we see that in all different areas right tripura is performing well moving on to news item dear friends uh, zimbabwe's military has uh, seized power from mugabe we know that mugabe has been in power from since independence he is the only person who is in charge of this zimbabwe and we know that uh, he is uh, 90 years plus old and uh, 
Uh, of course, uh, because uh, being so old, we know that uh, any time we would need a new president. And uh, he has recently sacked his deputy and uh, his uh, one of his wife is uh, going to... It is believed that, uh, or it was believed, that she is the one who is going to take over the country. You can see here, uh, this is the lady we are talking about. This is uh, Mugabe and... Uh, uh, the military right or the army has decided that uh, this is going to create or the things that are going on in Zimbabwe uh, are uh, against uh, are against this uh, president uh, so saying that they have taken over the president is under house arrest and we have talked about this thing earlier on a couple of uh, days ago it was in uh, in the form of editorial but here you have some additional items like uh, it has a depth of 13.7 billion the gdp is 16.3 billion so you can see that the economy is not at all in a good shape and 76 uh, percent of rural household lives on less than 1.25 dollar a day a very poor country moving on uh, center to advance this uh, bs uh, 6 fuel in delhi we know that uh, india is going to leapfrog we are at present uh, at on on bs uh, 4 standard uh, bharat standard 4 but uh, from here rather than uh, moving ahead with uh, bs 5 we are going to jump directly to we are going to skip this uh, bs 5 and we are going to jump to direct uh, bs 6 because a BS6 has a huge amount of benefits and you can understand with the help of this chart here see uh, you can see uh, CO level carbon monoxide level and uh, see in BS4 you have 0.5 here you have 0.5 then if you see PM particles right then uh, this BS4 releases 0 0.025 here you get 0 0.015 and sulfur content is low as well uh, 50 ppm and here you have 10 so clearly we can see that uh, there are benefits of uh, switching over as early as possible if we switch over to bs6 it is going to be beneficial no doubt it is also said that uh, uh, somewhere around 40 percent uh, right uh, there would be reduction in uh, vehicle emission or pollution that is conducted by this bs4 vehicles now the thing is this is a direction this is a move in right direction no doubt but we have to understand that this is just one component it is not mentioned here in this article but i would like to add here that most of the things right are taking place or the pollution that we see right or the smoke situation most of the particles are coming from dust the dust one of the reason is that uh, our top soil or the top layer of the soil right because of not adequate rainfall because uh, the way construction things and other things are going on the way cities are expanding the way we are chopping off trees and things like that the top soil is becoming loose and because of this thing we are seeing too much pollution here so yes bs4 to bs6 good thing for the delhi for the world uh, for the country of course for the world as well but there are other things on which we have to focus on a 622 year old shrine in Srinagar has been damaged in fire now remember the name of this shrine it belongs to or it is a shrine of uh, Mir Sayyid Ali uh, Hamdani uh, the construction is a paper marsh artwork a Persian art a Persian artworks of 13th and 14th century so if you find a question uh, that uh, Persian artwork was uh, there or we is seen in India during this 13th and 14th century then the answer is yes remember this thing the other thing is that this sort of shrines uh, display this uh, pluralistic ethos of not only Kashmiri society but of also Indian society and you find this sort of these things are in fact your part of your topic France uh, wants uh, to deepen cooperation with India in Indo-Pacific but not in this quad form but in bilateral form and uh, you'd be thinking why France is interested here then uh, dear friends uh, you have uh, reunion island reunion islands uh, you don't find them that much in news but when that Malaysian flight uh, was lost at that point of time it was believed that the parts uh, that uh, was found in this reunion island this is in pacific ocean so uh, it is it belongs to france uh, just like andaban nicobar and lakshadweep islands belong to india in the same way 
so uh, france is there in indian ocean and uh, uh, yeah, the 30 percent population of this reunion island is of indian origin then uh, it has uh, its uh, navy base in uae and djibouti and so it is already here with uh, 20000 forces and uh, we have been partner with each other this varuna exercise is going on since 1983 moving on to gst now the rates that are been reduced uh, by the recent uh, gst council is going to be applicable we talked about this uh, thing uh, when this changes took place that november 15 is the date of the launch of this thing and uh, army is uh, talking about this f uh, futuristic infantry combat vehicle ficv and future ready combat vehicle uh, the definition of uh, both these things are given here dear friends we are beaten by the clock so i would be a bit quick here i have to tell you the answers as well the temples of modern india are dams factories research labs power station etc with uh, nirbhaya missile right uh, it is a long range subsonic missile it can be de deployed from multiple platforms carry warheads of uh, 3000 kg the range is somewhere around uh, 1000 kilometer and uh, the missile has a capability to loiter and cruise at point uh, 7 mash that is below uh, the speed of sound and uh, it can uh, fly at a tree top level that is 100 meters so it cannot uh, it can escape the radar as well uh, the first step for fighting tb is of course data collection and proper registration and coming on to questions three questions for you on the screen the first one is in which country do you find a place called forbidden city second question is what is or are the objective or objectives of organization of petroleum exporting countries OPEC group so what is or are the objectives of this OPEC group and then you have a third question that is what is fracking right uh, fracking was in news a couple of days ago so what is fracking all about and uh, with this dear friends don't forget to get your pen drive and tablet courses if you have any question queries you have numbers here and you can use uh, chat support of study iq don't forget to subscribe share like and i would really appreciate that all those listeners who are not responding by providing your answers i would request all of you to make this platform more interactive and uh, trust me after a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months depends on how much hard work you are putting in here you will realize that the, th the things about which I was encouraging all of you uh, is in fact beneficial for all of you. I hope you trust me on this thing. Anyways, uh, dear friends, enjoy your studies. Jai Hind, I will see you all soon. Take care. Goodbye for now.